Choose your threads wisely. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, counsels, first learn the meaning of what you say and then speak. In the theater of life, the wise man often chooses to be an audience, understanding that words are like keys. Used wisely, they can unlock greatness. Used recklessly, they can close the doors of opportunity. He practices the art of Stoicism, speaking not out of turn but out of truth, teaching us that the most profound statements are often made in silence. The wise man's silence is a loud lesson. He speaks only when his words outweigh the silence. For in the halls of Stoicism, it's known, speak not because you must, but because your words can change the must into a meaningful melody. A sage whispers in a world that shouts, knowing that wisdom, like the sun, doesn't have to roar to be felt. In the stillness of his calm, he teaches the Stoic truth. It's not the volume of our words, but the weight of their silence that truly speaks. We're all too familiar with those who only talk for attention, filling the air with meaningless chatter to mask their lack of substance. But the ancient Stoics knew better. They saw words as weapons, effective only when precisely targeted and used purposefully. On top of that, it's in silence that we can observe, learn and understand. Thus, by speaking less and listening more, your words gain weight and substance, making others listen when you speak. In a world where everyone seems to be talking, but nobody is truly listening, the ancient Stoics presented a powerful alternative. They taught us that words are not merely sounds, but tools to be used sparingly and effectively. In our modern world, we are bombarded by endless noise, chatter and distraction. It's easy to fall into the trap of speaking without thinking, talking just to fill the silence. But Stoicism invites us to break this pattern, to embrace silence not as emptiness, but as a canvas for deeper understanding and meaningful connections. Lesson 1. The power of silence in a world of noise. In a realm constantly echoing with unceasing discourse, social media, and endless opinions, the ancient Stoic wisdom of choosing silence over idle chatter stands as a beacon of strength and intelligence. A wise man once said nothing at all because wise men speak when they have something to say, fools because they have to say something. This adage, steeped in the profound insights of Stoicism, underscores the virtue of restraint in speech and the value of thoughtful articulation, the art of measured speech. The Stoics weren't just philosophers, they were keen observers of human nature. They recognized that the compulsion to fill silence with words often stems from a place of insecurity, a desire to be heard or to assert one's presence. Yet ironically, this incessant need to speak can diminish the value of one's words. In a torrent of constant talk, meaningful dialogue is lost like a whisper in the wind. To cultivate the art of measured speech, one must first embrace the power of observation. Silence is not merely the absence of sound. It's an active state of listening, perceiving and reflecting. By choosing to speak only when necessary, one becomes a curator of thoughts, not a mere collector. This selective process of communication ensures that when words are spoken, they are potent, impactful and infused with wisdom. Imagine a scenario in a business meeting or a family gathering. The room is filled with voices, each clamoring to be heard. In contrast, one individual remains silent, their demeanor calm and contemplative. When this person finally speaks, their words cut through the cacophony, commanding attention and respect. Their speech is not a waterfall, but a well-aimed stream, flowing precisely to its intended destination. Silence as a tool for personal growth and understanding. The stoic practice of silence is more than a communication strategy. It's a tool for personal growth and understanding. In the quietude of non-speech, the mind finds space to explore the depths of its own wisdom. It's in these moments of introspection that one discovers the core principles that guide their thoughts and actions. Furthermore, silence enhances one's ability to understand others. Active listening, a skill often overshadowed by the urge to respond, is a foundation for empathy and deeper interpersonal connections. When one listens more and speaks less, they become attuned to the nuances of conversation, the unspoken emotions, and the underlying concerns that words alone may not convey. To integrate this lesson into daily life, one might start by setting a simple intention each morning, perhaps to observe more and react less, or to speak only when it adds value to the conversation.
It could be as straightforward as pausing for a few seconds before responding, allowing oneself time to consider the weight and impact of their words. Embracing silence in a noisy world. In today's fast-paced, hyper-connected world, the act of embracing silence becomes a radical yet essential endeavor. It's a choice to withdraw from the incessant chatter, to find solace in one's thoughts, and to speak with intention and purpose. The Stoics understood this well. They knew that in silence one could find wisdom, and in measured speech one could wield influence. The journey towards mastering the art of silence and wise speech is ongoing, a practice that evolves and deepens with time. It's about striking a balance, knowing when to speak and when to let silence speak for you. As we navigate our daily interactions, let us remember the Stoic teachings that in the economy of words, each one holds immense power, and in the quiet spaces between them lies profound wisdom. Lesson 2. The Wisdom of Speaking with Purpose In a society where words are often dispensed like leaves in the wind, thoughtlessly and without direction, the Stoic approach to speech stands out as a testament to intentionality and purpose. As we delve into the essence of Stoic wisdom, it becomes evident that the true measure of intelligence isn't just in what we say, but in the purpose behind our words. He who speaks does not know, he who knows does not speak. This paradox, while seemingly simple, unravels layers of profound understanding about the nature of knowledge and expression, cultivating intentionality in speech. The Stoics, with their keen insight into human behavior, recognize that the desire to speak often overshadows the importance of the message conveyed. They urged for a shift from impulsive speaking to intentional communicating, where each word is a deliberate choice serving a specific purpose. This practice isn't about imposing silence, but fostering meaningful dialogue. Consider the instance of a debate or discussion. The typical scene unfolds with participants eagerly voicing their opinions, often overlapping and overshadowing each other. Now reimagine this scenario with a stoic approach. Each individual takes a moment to contemplate, to understand the essence of what they want to convey, and then speaks with clarity and precision. The conversation transforms from a cacophony of voices to a symphony of meaningful discourse. To incorporate this lesson, one might start by asking themselves, what is the purpose of my words? Are they to inform, persuade, comfort, or connect? This introspective query helps in filtering out impulsive speech, ensuring that when we do talk, our words are aligned with our intentions and values. Speech as a reflection of inner wisdom. In the Stoic tradition, speech is seen as a mirror of the mind. What we say and how we say it reflects our inner thoughts, beliefs, and wisdom. Therefore, speaking with purpose is not just about external communication, but an expression of our internal state. When our words are thoughtful and deliberate, they reveal a mind that is equally composed and discerning. Moreover, speaking with purpose requires a deep understanding of oneself and the subject at hand. It's not merely about being right or sounding intelligent, but about sharing insights that are meaningful and beneficial to the listener. This aspect of stoic communication encourages continuous learning and self-improvement, as one cannot speak purposefully without a well-founded understanding of the topic, embracing the power of purposeful speech. In today's world, where the sheer volume of information can be overwhelming, the stoic practice of speaking with purpose serves as a guiding light. It reminds us that our words have power the power to enlighten, inspire, and connect. By choosing our words wisely, we not only communicate more effectively, but also contribute to a more thoughtful and reflective society. As we go about our daily interactions, let us carry with us the stoic ideal of purposeful speech. Let's pause and reflect before we speak, considering the impact and intent of our words. This practice not only enriches our conversations, but also deepens our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. In the realm of stoic wisdom, words are not just sounds uttered by the tongue. They are the echoes of our thoughts, the manifestations of our intentions, and the bridges that connect us to others. Lesson 3. The Stoic Path to Thoughtful Speech and Silence In the Stoic journey toward wisdom, we come to understand that the mastery of speech is not just in eloquence, but in the discernment of when to speak and when to embrace silence. This lesson delves into the intricate dance between saying what is necessary and holding back what is superfluous. 
The Stoic maxim, speak only if it improves upon the silence, serves as a compass, guiding us through the complexities of communication, balancing speech and silence. The Stoics viewed the art of communication as a balance between speaking and silence. They believed that true wisdom lies in recognizing the right moments to voice one's thoughts and when to let the quiet prevail. This balance is not about merely restraining oneself from speaking. It is about understanding the value and impact of one's words. In practical terms, this means being mindful of our impulses to speak. Before joining a conversation or responding in a discussion, pause and consider whether your contribution adds value or merely adds to the noise. This pause, this moment of reflection, is where discernment lies. It's in this space that we decide whether our words will enlighten, comfort or inspire, or if they will dissipate into the ether, forgotten and inconsequential. The power of listening, central to the stoic approach to speech, is the art of listening. Listening, in this context, is more than just hearing words. It's an active engagement with the speaker. It involves understanding not just the literal meaning of the words, but also the emotions, intentions, and underlying messages. By honing our listening skills, we become better communicators. We learn to respond not just with our preconceived notions or rehearsed replies, but with genuine insight and empathy. Listening transforms our interactions, making them richer and more meaningful. It allows us to connect on a deeper level, building trust and understanding. Silence is a source of strength. In Stoicism, silence is not a sign of weakness or ignorance. It's a source of strength. It signifies a mind that is at peace, confident in its wisdom, and comfortable with its thoughts. In silence, we find the room to reflect, to ponder our experiences, and to delve into the depths of our understanding. Embracing silence can be particularly powerful in times of conflict or stress. When emotions are high and words can be weapons, Choosing silence can be a powerful strategy. It allows us to step back, to view the situation with clarity and without the heat of immediate reaction. Incorporating the stoic balance of speech and silence into our daily lives requires practice and mindfulness. It's about making a conscious choice to speak with purpose and to listen with intent. It's about recognizing that sometimes the most powerful thing we can say is nothing at all. Lesson 4 the Stoic Art of Speaking with Integrity Within the Stoic philosophy, the virtue of integrity in speech is paramount, forming a cornerstone of personal character and societal interaction. This principle goes beyond mere truth-telling. It encompasses the authenticity and ethical weight of our words. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, counsels, first learn the meaning of what you say, and then speak. This profound advice underlines the Stoic commitment to integrity, advocating for a deep congruence between our thoughts and our words. In the grand tapestry of human interaction, every word we speak is a thread that can either strengthen the weave or cause it to unravel. Choose your threads wisely. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, counsels, first learn the meaning of what you say and then speak. In the theater of life, the wise man often chooses to be an audience, understanding that words are like keys. Used wisely, they can unlock greatness Used recklessly, they can close the doors of opportunity. He practices the art of stoicism, speaking not out of turn, but out of truth, teaching us that the most profound statements are often made in silence. The wise man's silence is a loud lesson. He speaks only when his words outweigh the silence. For in the halls of stoicism, it's known, speak not because you must, but because your words can change the must into a meaningful melody. A sage whispers in a world that shouts, knowing that wisdom, like the sun, doesn't have to roar to be felt. In the stillness of his calm, he teaches the stoic truth. It's not the volume of our words, but the weight of their silence that truly speaks. We're all too familiar with those who only talk for attention, filling the air with meaningless chatter to mask their lack of substance. But the ancient stoics knew better. They saw words as weapons, effective only when precisely targeted and used purposefully. On top of that, it's in silence that we can observe, learn, and understand. Thus, by speaking less and listening more, your words gain weight and substance, making others listen when you speak. In a world where everyone seems to be talking, but nobody is truly listening, the ancient Stoics presented a powerful alternative. 
They taught us that words are not merely sounds, but tools to be used sparingly and effectively. In our modern world, we are bombarded by endless noise, chatter and distraction. It's easy to fall into the trap of speaking without thinking, talking just to fill the silence. But Stoicism invites us to break this pattern, to embrace silence not as emptiness, but as a canvas for deeper understanding and meaningful connections. Lesson 1. The power of silence in a world of noise. In a realm constantly echoing with unceasing discourse, social media, and endless opinions, the ancient Stoic wisdom of choosing silence over idle chatter stands as a beacon of strength and intelligence. A wise man once said nothing at all because wise men speak when they have something to say, fools because they have to say something. This adage, steeped in the profound insights of Stoicism, underscores the virtue of restraint in speech and the value of thoughtful articulation, the art of measured speech. The Stoics weren't just philosophers, they were keen observers of human nature. They recognized that the compulsion to fill silence with words often stems from a place of insecurity, a desire to be heard or to assert one's presence. Yet ironically, this incessant need to speak can diminish the value of one's words. In a torrent of constant talk, meaningful dialogue is lost like a whisper in the wind. To cultivate the art of measured speech, one must first embrace the power of observation. Silence is not merely the absence of sound, it's an active state of listening, perceiving and reflecting. By choosing to speak only when necessary, one becomes a curator of thoughts, not a mere collector. This selective process of communication ensures that when words are spoken, they are potent, impactful, and infused with wisdom. Imagine a scenario in a business meeting or a family gathering. The room is filled with voices, each clamoring to be heard. In contrast, one individual remains silent, their demeanor calm and contemplative. When this person finally speaks, their words cut through the cacophony, commanding attention and respect. Their speech is not a waterfall, but a well-aimed stream, flowing precisely to its intended destination. Silence as a tool for personal growth and understanding. The Stoic practice of silence is more than a communication strategy. It's a tool for personal growth and understanding. In the quietude of non-speech, the mind finds space to explore the depths of its own wisdom. It's in these moments of introspection that one discovers the core principles that guide their thoughts and actions. Furthermore, silence enhances one's ability to understand others. Active listening, a skill often overshadowed by the urge to respond, is a foundation for empathy and deeper interpersonal connections. When one listens more and speaks less, they become attuned to the nuances of conversation, the unspoken emotions, and the underlying concerns that words alone may not convey. To integrate this lesson into daily life, one might start by setting a simple intention each morning, perhaps to observe more and react less, or to speak only when it adds value to the conversation. It could be as straightforward as pausing for a few seconds before responding, allowing oneself time to consider the weight and impact of their words, embracing silence in a noisy world. In today's fast-paced, hyper-connected world, the act of embracing silence becomes a radical yet essential endeavor it's a choice to withdraw from the incessant chatter, to find solace in one's thoughts, and to speak with intention and purpose. The Stoics understood this well. They knew that in silence, one could find wisdom, and in measured speech, one could wield influence. The journey towards mastering the art of silence and wise speech is ongoing, a practice that evolves and deepens with time. It's about striking a balance, knowing when to speak, and when to let silence speak for you. As we navigate our daily interactions, let us remember the Stoic teachings that in the economy of words, each one holds immense power, and in the quiet spaces between them lies profound wisdom. Lesson 2. The Wisdom of Speaking with Purpose In a society where words are often dispensed like leaves in the wind, thoughtlessly and without direction, the Stoic approach to speech stands out as a testament to intentionality and purpose. As we delve into the essence of Stoic wisdom, it becomes evident that the true measure of intelligence isn't just in what we say, but in the purpose behind our words. He who speaks does not know, he who knows does not speak. This paradox, while seemingly simple, unravels layers of profound understanding about the nature of knowledge and expression. 
cultivating intentionality in speech. The Stoics, with their keen insight into human behavior, recognize that the desire to speak often overshadows the importance of the message conveyed. They urged for a shift from impulsive speaking to intentional communicating, where each word is a deliberate choice serving a specific purpose. This practice isn't about imposing silence, but fostering meaningful dialogue. Consider the instance of a debate or discussion. The typical scene unfolds with participants eagerly voicing their opinions, often overlapping and overshadowing each other. Now reimagine this scenario with a stoic approach. Each individual takes a moment to contemplate, to understand the essence of what they want to convey, and then speaks with clarity and precision. The conversation transforms from a cacophony of voices to a symphony of meaningful discourse. To incorporate this lesson, one might start by asking themselves, what is the purpose of my words? Are they to inform, persuade, comfort, or connect? This introspective query helps in filtering out impulsive speech, ensuring that when we do talk, our words are aligned with our intentions and values. Speech as a reflection of inner wisdom. In the Stoic tradition, speech is seen as a mirror of the mind. What we say and how we say it reflects our inner thoughts, beliefs, and wisdom. Therefore, speaking with purpose is not just about external communication, but an expression of our internal state. When our words are thoughtful and deliberate, they reveal a mind that is equally composed and discerning. Moreover, speaking with purpose requires a deep understanding of oneself and the subject at hand. It's not merely about being right or sounding intelligent, but about sharing insights that are meaningful and beneficial to the listener. This aspect of stoic communication encourages continuous learning and self-improvement, as one cannot speak purposefully without a well-founded understanding of the topic. Embracing the power of purposeful speech. In today's world, where the sheer volume of information can be overwhelming, the stoic practice of speaking with purpose serves as a guiding light. It reminds us that our words have power the power to enlighten, inspire, and connect. By choosing our words wisely, we not only communicate more effectively, but also contribute to a more thoughtful and reflective society. As we go about our daily interactions, let us carry with us the stoic ideal of purposeful speech. Let's pause and reflect before we speak, considering the impact and intent of our words. This practice not only enriches our conversations, but also deepens our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. In the realm of stoic wisdom, Words are not just sounds uttered by the tongue. They are the echoes of our thoughts, the manifestations of our intentions, and the bridges that connect us to others. Lesson 3. The Stoic Path to Thoughtful Speech and Silence In the Stoic journey toward wisdom, we come to understand that the mastery of speech is not just in eloquence, but in the discernment of when to speak and when to embrace silence. This lesson delves into the intricate dance between saying what is necessary and holding back what is superfluous. The Stoic maxim, speak only if it improves upon the silence, serves as a compass guiding us through the complexities of communication. Hash balancing speech and silence. The Stoics viewed the art of communication as a balance between speaking and silence. They believed that true wisdom lies in recognizing the right moments to voice one's thoughts and when to let the quiet prevail. This balance is not about merely restraining oneself from speaking. It is about understanding the value and impact of one's words. In practical terms, this means being mindful of our impulses to speak. Before joining a conversation or responding in a discussion, pause and consider whether your contribution adds value or merely adds to the noise. This pause, this moment of reflection, is where discernment lies. It's in this space that we decide whether our words will enlighten, comfort, or inspire, or if they will dissipate into the ether, forgotten and inconsequential. Hash the power of listening. Central to the stoic approach to speech is the art of listening. Listening, in this context, is more than just hearing words. It's an active engagement with a speaker. It involves understanding not just the literal meaning of the words, but also the emotions, intentions, and underlying messages. By honing our listening skills, we become better communicators. We learn to respond not just with our preconceived notions or rehearsed replies, but with genuine insight and empathy. Listening transforms our interactions 
making them richer and more meaningful. It allows us to connect on a deeper level, building trust and understanding. Hash silence is a source of strength. In Stoicism, silence is not a sign of weakness or ignorance. It's a source of strength. It signifies a mind that is at peace, confident in its wisdom, and comfortable with its thoughts. In silence, we find the room to reflect, to ponder our experiences, and to delve into the depths of our understanding. Embracing silence can be particularly powerful in times of conflict or stress. When emotions are high and words can be weapons, choosing silence can be a powerful strategy. It allows us to step back, to view the situation with clarity and without the heat of immediate reaction. Incorporating the stoic balance of speech and silence into our daily lives requires practice and mindfulness. It's about making a conscious choice to speak with purpose and to listen with intent. It's about recognizing that sometimes the most powerful thing we can say is nothing at all. Hash Lesson 4 The Stoic Art of Speaking with Integrity Within the Stoic philosophy, the virtue of integrity in speech is paramount, forming a cornerstone of personal character and societal interaction. This principle goes beyond mere truth-telling. It encompasses the authenticity and ethical weight of our words. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, counsels, first learn the meaning of what you say, and then speak. This profound advice underlines the Stoic commitment to integrity, advocating for a deep congruence between our thoughts and our words. Hash aligning words with beliefs. The Stoic endeavor of aligning speech with belief is an exercise in authenticity and moral clarity. It is not enough for the Stoics to avoid falsehood. They must also ensure that their words reflect their genuine thoughts and intentions. This alignment is crucial as it builds a foundation of trust and respect in both personal and professional relationships. When people communicate with sincerity, they are seen as reliable and honest, qualities that are highly valued in all spheres of life. Practicing this stoic principle involves continuous introspection of our motives and intentions before we speak, ensuring our words are not influenced by ego, deceit, or superficiality, but are instead an expression of our true self. Hash speaking with kindness and constructiveness. In line with stoic philosophy, speaking with integrity also means striking a balance between honesty and tactfulness. The Stoics did not advocate for brutal frankness or harsh truth-telling. Rather, they emphasized the importance of expressing one's truth in a manner that is considerate and constructive. This approach to communication is not just about maintaining harmonious relationships, but also about contributing positively to the growth and well-being of others. In every conversation, whether it's a casual chat or a serious discussion, the words we choose and the way we deliver them can significantly impact the listener. By speaking with kindness and thoughtfulness, we uphold the stoic values of empathy and mutual respect, fostering a more understanding and compassionate community. Hash cultivating integrity in daily communication. Integrating the stoic principle of integrity in our daily communication is a journey of self-improvement and mindful practice. It requires us to be constantly aware of the gap between our thoughts and our speech and to strive to bridge this gap with honesty and authenticity. This practice not only enhances our personal growth, but also contributes to a culture of trust and sincerity in our communities. As we navigate through our daily interactions, let us remember the stoic teaching in the realm of speech. It is not the quantity of words that matters, but the quality of their truth and the intention behind them. Hash Lesson 5 The Stoic Practice of Concise Speech Stoicism, a philosophy rich in wisdom about human conduct, places great emphasis on the power of concise speech. This lesson explores the Stoic virtue of brevity in communication, aligning with the adage, speak only as long as necessary. The Stoics believed that the efficacy of words lies not in their abundance, but in their precision and relevance. The Stoic approach to communication is grounded in the belief that words should be used sparingly, like a precious resource. This doesn't mean being unnecessarily terse or uncommunicative. Instead, it's about ensuring that our words are meaningful and to the point. By practicing brevity, we not only respect our listeners' time and attention, but also clarify our thoughts and intentions. 
This discipline of choosing our words carefully forces us to think more deeply about what we want to convey and to distill our thoughts to their essence. Hash impact of concise speech. Concise speech has a powerful impact on both the speaker and the listener. For the speaker, it fosters a habit of clear and focused thinking, enabling them to communicate their ideas effectively. For the listener, it ensures that the message is received without unnecessary clutter, enhancing understanding and retention. In a world often overwhelmed with excessive information and verbose communication, the stoic practice of brevity in speech becomes a refreshing and impactful way of interacting. Hash Lesson 6 The Stoic Art of Reflective Speech In Stoicism, the practice of reflective speech is a key tenet, urging us to ponder our words before we release them into the world. This lesson explores the stoic discipline of thoughtful articulation, rooted in the principle, think twice before you speak because your words and influence will plant the seed of either success or failure in the mind of another. Cultivating Thoughtfulness in Communication Stoic philosophy advocates for a pause before speaking, a moment of contemplation to assess the impact and necessity of our words. This practice is not about self-censorship, rather, it's about fostering a sense of responsibility for the power our words wield. When we speak without reflection, we risk causing misunderstandings, conflicts, or hurt. However, by taking the time to consider our words carefully, we can ensure they are aligned with our true intentions and values. This mindful approach to speech encourages us to be both honest and empathetic, considering how our words will be received by others. Benefits of Reflective Speech Engaging in reflective speech has numerous benefits. It enhances our ability to communicate effectively, ensuring that our messages are clear and purposeful. It also helps in building stronger, more respectful relationships as others recognize our consideration for their feelings and perspectives. Additionally, this practice of thoughtful articulation aligns with a stoic pursuit of self-improvement as it encourages us to be more self-aware and intentional in our interactions. In a world where impulsive reactions are common, the stoic art of reflective speech offers a path to more meaningful and harmonious communication. Lesson 7. The Stoic Approach to Non-Reactive Communication Stoicism teaches the value of non-reactive communication, a skill particularly relevant in today's fast-paced and often emotionally charged interactions. This lesson delves into the stoic principle of maintaining composure in conversation embodied in the maxim, do not be perturbed, speak calmly and without passion. Mastering Composure in Dialogue The Stoics advocated for a form of communication that rises above immediate emotional responses. This does not imply a lack of emotion or empathy, but rather the ability to manage one's reactions and respond with thoughtfulness and poise. By practicing non-reactive communication, we avoid being swept away by the heat of the moment, which can lead to hasty, regrettable words. Instead, we create space to understand the situation fully and to articulate responses that are constructive and aligned with our core principles. This approach is especially valuable in conflict resolution or emotionally charged discussions where calm and clear-headed communication can pave the way for understanding and resolution. Benefits of Non-Reactive Communication Embracing non-reactive communication fosters healthier and more effective interactions. It allows for a deeper level of listening and understanding as we are not preoccupied with immediately formulating a response. This stoic practice also enhances our emotional intelligence as it requires us to recognize and regulate our emotions. In doing so, we build stronger, more respectful relationships, both personally and professionally. By embodying this stoic principle, we contribute to a more thoughtful and empathetic dialogue in all spheres of our lives. Lesson 8 the Stoic Guideline of Constructive Communication Stoicism teaches the value of communication that not only expresses personal views but also contributes constructively to the greater good. This lesson delves into the Stoic ideal of using speech as a tool for positive influence and communal harmony, echoing the sentiment, use your voice not just to express but to improve, to heal, to unite. Speaking with a purpose beyond the self the Stoics emphasize the importance of considering the wider impact of our words in every interaction, 
whether in personal conversations or public discourse. They urged us to reflect on how our speech can benefit not just ourselves, but others as well. This approach to communication requires us to look beyond our immediate desires and opinions and consider the broader implications of our words. By adopting this mindset, our speech becomes a bridge that connects, a balm that heals, and a force that unites us. It's about striking a balance between expressing our truths and being sensitive to the needs and perspectives of others, thereby fostering an environment of mutual respect and understanding, enhancing community and understanding through dialogue. Implementing this stoic guideline in our daily communication can significantly enhance the sense of community and collective understanding. When we speak with the intention of contributing positively, our words can help build trust, promote empathy, and encourage collaboration. This is particularly important in challenging situations or disagreements, where constructive communication can pave the way for resolution and growth. Furthermore, by embracing this stoic practice, we align our speech with values of altruism and compassion, reinforcing the notion that every individual can contribute to the betterment of the whole. Lesson 9. The Stoic Approach to Speaking with Empathy Stoicism, a philosophy deeply rooted in virtue and wisdom, places great emphasis on the importance of empathy in communication. This lesson explores the Stoic principle of empathetic speech, which is encapsulated in the idea, speak not only to be understood, but also to understand others. Through this, Stoicism teaches us the value of tailoring our words to connect with and understand the feelings and perspectives of others, fostering connection through understanding. The Stoics believed that true communication goes beyond the mere exchange of words. It involves an exchange of emotions and experiences. When we speak with empathy, we open ourselves to the perspectives and feelings of others, creating a bridge of understanding. This empathetic approach to conversation requires an active effort to listen and comprehend the underlying sentiments behind the words spoken. It's about stepping into another's shoes, seeing the world from their viewpoint, and then responding in a way that acknowledges their emotions and perspective. By doing so, we not only convey our message more effectively, but also nurture stronger, more meaningful relationships, enhancing emotional intelligence and dialogue. Engaging in empathetic communication enhances our emotional intelligence, a key aspect of stoic self-improvement. It allows us to become more aware of our own emotions and those of others, fostering a greater understanding of human nature. In practice, empathetic speech can be particularly transformative in conflict resolution or emotionally charged discussions. By addressing not just the factual content, but also the emotional context of the conversation, we can diffuse tensions and find common ground. This stoic practice not only enriches our personal interactions, but also contributes to a more compassionate and understanding society. Lesson 10. The Stoic Mastery of Assertive Yet Respectful Speech In Stoicism, mastering the art of assertive yet respectful communication is highly valued. This final lesson delves into the stoic ideal of expressing oneself clearly and confidently while simultaneously maintaining respect for others. This principle is captured in the Stoic belief, speak your mind freely, but let your words be tempered with respect and reason. Balancing assertiveness with respect. The Stoics taught that assertiveness in speech is essential for conveying one's thoughts and standing up for one's beliefs. However, they equally emphasized that this assertiveness must always be coupled with respect for the listener. This balance is the hallmark of effective communication. It allows one to be honest and direct without being abrasive or dismissive. In practicing this, we learn to express our opinions firmly yet remain open to the views of others. This approach not only ensures clarity and conviction in our communication, but also fosters an environment of mutual respect and open-minded dialogue, navigating difficult conversations with stoic principles. In situations of disagreement or conflict, the Stoic approach to assertive yet respectful speech is particularly valuable. It enables us to navigate difficult conversations with composure and empathy. By expressing our points assertively, we ensure that our voice is heard and our perspective is understood. Simultaneously, by remaining respectful, we acknowledge the validity of other viewpoints and keep the lines of communication open. 
This stoic method encourages constructive rather than confrontational exchanges, paving the way for resolution and understanding. Conclusion As we conclude our journey through these stoic lessons on the art of communication, let us remember the timeless wisdom imparted by these ancient philosophers. Their teachings are not mere relics of the past, but guiding lights for our present and future interactions. May we carry these lessons forward, weaving them into the fabric of our daily conversations. Let's strive to speak with intention, listen with empathy, and express ourselves with both assertiveness and respect. In doing so, we honor the stoic legacy of wise communication, enriching not only our lives, but also the lives of those around us. Remember, in the grand tapestry of human interaction, every word we speak is a thread that can either strengthen the weave or cause it to unravel. Choose your threads wisely. May your path of communication be guided by wisdom, and may your words always reflect the depth of your understanding and the breadth of your compassion. Until we meet again, speak thoughtfully, listen intently, and live stoically.